So the reason I'm saying to uh, save your tarsal glands is uh, the, one of the biggest ways the deer communicate with each other is through their tarsal glands. So um, as far as buying scents in stores and stuff, I don't believe a lot of that. I think a lot of that is gimmicks. And they're going for novice hunters and, you know, a guy that wants to kill deer is going to buy whatever they put out on the market, whether it works or not. Uh, one thing I do know for certain is that tarsal glands work. So anytime you harvest an animal, remove the tarsal glands. Every deer that I harvest, I remove the tarsal glands. And I am a firm believer. Uh, a, lot of the way, a lot of times the way that I use them is I just cut them off of the animal. I poke a hole in them and I put a, a zip tie in them and then I go right into the freezer. And then the next time I want to use one for hunting or the next season I pull it out of the freezer, I take this in the woods and I hang it by that zip tie. I hang it in a, in a shooting lane or close to my stand where I can get a shot. And then when I'm done for the day, I take it home and put it in the freezer. Now another way to utilize the tarsal gland is to actually shave the hair off of it as close as you can to the skin and get all of that scent and oil and heat it up and remove it with hot water. Uh, filter it with a coffee filter and put it in a spray bottle and you can just take that little bottle with you and spray it on whatever you want, a mock scrape or on low, low brush or uh, anywhere right around your stand to let deer know that there are other deer there. Uh, the tarsal gland scent is by far the best, um, I feel, for me uh, when uh, talking to other deer in the woods, does will come in and feel calm and relaxed because they think that there's other deer in the area. And when you get to pre-rut and then into rut, you can really play with a buck and his aggressiveness through tarsal glands. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I uh, how I put this how I bottle this scent up and use it to my advantage. Well. Today we're in the uh, we're in the old trapper shack. I'm not going to do this in the wife's kitchen because it puts off a little bit of smell. She'll be upset. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some tarsal glands from deer that I had harvested and other people had harvested, and I'm going to make a solution to put into little pump spray bottles instead of dealing with uh, tarsal glands that uh, you know they they can go bad and start to rot in warm weather and stuff. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the oil and the scent off of the tarsal gland and put it in these bottles. And I'm going to carry these bottles into where I hunt and utilize them there. Well, let's go over what I have here. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of blue painter's tape. And that's how I'm going to label my bottles with a uh, Sharpie. Um, I have an old Norelco beard trimmer which I'm going to use to help cut some of the hair off of the tarsal glands and I actually have a scalpel here that I use these for trapping but I'm going to use that also to utilize to cut off as much hair as I can. Uh, I have some old uh, scent dispensers I may uh, put a little of the extra liquid in these just to hang out my stand. I got a couple glass measuring cups I got uh, coffee filters and some paper plates which I'm going to utilize I'm going to lay the to each individual tarsal gland on each, an individual paper plate so I know which one's which. I have a funnel which I'm going to put a coffee filter into to funnel the hair off so I don't get the hair caught up inside the spray bottles that I'm going to use. Um, now let's get to the tarsal glands. So the tarsal glands that I'm using today um, I just happen to have a button buck tarsal gland that a buddy harvested. I have a young buck that another buddy harvested. And then I have a mature buck tarsal gland which I harvested. And I'm going to utilize all three of these. And then as far as my doe tarsal glands, I have three tarsal glands from three individual doe in here. Now I'm going to use a little bit of... Uh, plain salt. That's non-iodized salt. Uh, animals tend to smell that iodine in there. And you're going to go ahead and utilize a stainless steel kettle. That's how I'm going to heat my water up on this little burner. And like I said, I'm going to do this inside my uh, inside my trapper shack. I don't want uh, I don't want to stink the kitchen up and have the wife be mad at me. Oh, uh, at least. I actually have rubber gloves here, which I am going to be wearing. Uh, you want to be careful handling tarsal glands. Um, they do have a bacteria on them that can make you sick in your belly, maybe give you the diarrhea. So anytime after handling these, uh, if you're not using rubber gloves and you're just using your bare hands, make sure you wash your hands real good after uh, 
after you touch them. Okay, we got our burner going. Um, all I'm going to do is bring that water to a boil and then shut the heat off. Water's ready. Okay, so basically this is how I set it up. There's my mature buck tarsal gland, and it, man, it stinks. It's powerful. And then I got a young buck and a button buck. And like I said, I'm just going to keep these separated. I would like to make up two spray bottles of nothing but the mature buck. And then I'm going to utilize a little bit that's left in the mature buck. And I'm going to use the young buck tarsal and the button buck tarsal. And I'm going to put together a medley. So I'm going to kind of use, I'm just going to call that my active scrape tarsal. Okay, so basically now I'm going to, all I'm going to do is I'm going to use that old beard trimmer in my scalp when I'm going to remove as much of the hair as I can off of that tarsal gland to put into the hot water. Uh, I want to avoid getting any flesh in there because that will make it spoil. So let me get to work. Okay, I have all the hair removed from the mature buck tarsal. I poured a half a cup of very hot water into my little pitcher there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that deer hair inside that pitcher I'm going to add just a pinch of salt and the salt is going to be to uh, keep bacteria down and uh, you know to, to help it maintain freshness and then I'm going to go ahead and stir that up and I just grabbed a stick off of a bush out here and uh, once I get that all stirred together, um, then I'm going to go ahead and run it through a coffee filter and then fill up my little bottles. see the water's getting nice and brown and that's all the oil coming off of that hair and man this thing is powerful uh, this buck was killed in uh, I think mid to late November uh, so he was pretty active and man this really smells so this is gonna make up for uh, this is gonna make up for a good uh, tarsal in one of those spray bottles Wow Okay, there it is. I mixed that up real well. And like I said, half a cup of water, all the hair off of a tarsal gland, all the dark, oily, nasty, smelly hair, and then just a pinch of salt. And uh, like I said, that, that salt, that wee, wee little bit of salt in there is just going to help it stay fresh. It's going to preserve it a little bit, keep it from going bad as quick. And like I said, now I'm just going to run this through a coffee filter and then I'm going to put it in my little bottles and label them. And then I'll put those little bottles in the refrigerator and that's where I'll keep them until I go to use them. all of the juice from my mature buck tarsal gland it's a nice brown liquid and it smells very powerful so I'm just gonna fill this bottle up almost to the top There's one bottle. There's my second bottle. I'm just going to go ahead and put the old pump sprayer right on them right now there we go now basically all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna label this 
mature buck tarsal. That's done. Well, I'm uh, putting the heat back on the kettle and getting it nice and hot again. I'm starting on my dough. So far, what I've done is I did a mature buck in two bottles. I do, I'm do. i doing an active scrape, which is going to have tarsal glands from three bucks, a mature buck, a young buck, and a button buck. And I put in one dough tarsal into the active scrape blend. Now I'm going to work on my bottles that are just dough. So I'm going to go ahead and use two dough tarsal glands and make up my dough. So I'm getting ready to go ahead and get these uh, the hair removed. Well, there's the finished product. Uh, so basically, all I did was I used a mature buck tarsal gland, and I made two bottles of mature buck tarsal, and then I actually used doe tarsal glands and made just a doe tarsal gland mix, and then I did a combination for my active scrape tarsal. So basically, for this one, I used a button buck. A young buck and a mature buck and then I also added doe tarsal to this one so it was a combination of three different does and three different bucks now like I said all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna place these bottles into my refrigerator and that's where they're gonna stay I will put them in my backpack take them out when I use them and then when I'm done for the day I'll put them right back into the refrigerator I had a couple uh, scent hangers these things just slide apart and they have a little wick inside of them like this. And then I can go ahead and dose those up with, with whichever ones that I want and hang them right at my stand and then take them with me when I leave so that the scent's only there when I'm there. Okay, uh, good luck. Uh, keep your tarsals. Save them. They work.